guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video, just to kind of try to be a quick video, if you will, of my September and October faves, fills, and follow-ups. I didn't do one in September. I really don't have a whole lot of products, so I accumulated enough so I can talk talk about. And to be quite frank, today's video is very palette heavy. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, I have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette that I bought in October here, and I paid $65 for this. This is my first Natasha Denona Palette, and let me tell you, I'm so disappointed. I do not like this palette at all. I, I was really excited for this psychedelic shade, and it is crispy and crusty as all get out. Um, a lot of these, like, burgundy shades I was really excited for are a little on the patchy side, and honestly, for $65 as a Natasha Genona name, I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed at all. Another little palette here that I've actually heard people like rave about, but these Essence Taupe It Up palettes actually really suck. And I love Essence, but you gotta be honest when you're honest, okay? So these ones aren't very good. There's not a whole lot of deep shades. There's not a whole lot of contrast in the palette. And the palette just sucks so bad that the shimmers are so crumbly. Think like 1990s dollar store makeup. Like, that's the quality of this. I do not recommend it, even if it's, like, $3.99 or 3 bucks. Beach Cosmetics Paris Palette. I have been testing this out for a couple months and really, really, really trying to get on board with it and testing out some different looks with it. This just sucks. Beach Cosmetics eyeshadows are some of my favorites, but they really dudded out with these. The um, glitter shades in here are super duper crumbly, and I have had nothing but problems with these shades, and I am very disappointed in this palette. I want to continue to love and use BH Cosmetics, but if they would or have continued to put out palettes like that, I really would stop purchasing them. This is of no surprise. I bought this Morphe Madison Beer Palette here um, from Ulta, and this I recently tested out thinking that there'd be really good like fall shades in here. Um, this sucks. I mean, the matte shades in here are pretty good, but the shimmer shades are of poor quality in my opinion. Not pigmented, they're crumbly, and they are not worth the money. And I don't think that this palette actually looking online after I bought it had very good reviews in the first place, so that was kind of my bad. I should have researched that a little more. That one just sucks. A Morphe palette that just another one that just doesn't fit the bill for me. This Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette uh, really caught my eye and I really thought the timing of this was absolutely perfect for a release because it really looks like the perfect fall palette. I've created looks with this. I would say at least five or more looks with this and I am very 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 disappointed in the quality of Jaclyn's shadows. I do not like to use my finger with shadows and I like to use a brush. These shimmer shades are not brush friendly. They're patchy when you put them on with the brush, when you put them on with your finger. The, the reason why I like to use a brush over a finger is because my finger is not precise. Okay, blending with your finger is just to apply the product and then you do a brush and with hers, applying with your finger and blending out with a brush, it looks patchy and I do not like it. I do not recommend this palette. I think it's on sale for like $10.99 or something like that right now. And there's a reason why. It sucks, okay? Some palettes. Oh, another product that just really sucked was this LA Girl Tinted um, Foundation here. This has no coverage, like... None, none whatsoever. So I do not recommend that. The Ulta Beauty Under Eye Primer. I'm really, really, really testing out for you guys. Uh, like a foolproof, bulletproof product pairing for underneath the eyes. Just going to make your eyes look youthful. That's not going to crease. And I'm looking for a primer because I think that might be the, the winning ticket um, for wearability and creaselessness underneath the eyes while still maintaining youthfulness. So I tried this and this actually makes your under eyes look more cakey. This under eye Ulta Beauty Primer is just not worth it at all in my opinion. Um, I've been testing out some face primers and putting them under my eyes and I am working on that now and I will be kicking out a video for that probably soon. 
Um, the KVD Serum um, Bronzer here, I have mine in the shade Light Medium. It comes with the doe foot applicator. I was actually impressed. I do like this actually a lot. I think I should have gotten a deeper shade. This might be a little too light for me um, in my preference, but this this looks pretty good on the skin. My only gripe, my only gripe is that it does kind of dry fast, especially if you have a matte foundation underneath. So I recommend dotting on the face, blending it, and going on the other side and dotting on the face and blending it. Other than that, this works pretty well, and I have been pleased with that serum. Um, if you're not in the market for a bronzer, you don't have to run out and buy it, but it's pretty good if it's on your writer. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I really liked this um, Fanfare sh uh, lipstick shade. I love the packaging here um, in the shade Nuditude. Um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, New Attitude is actually what it's called. The shade is absolutely beautiful. The lipstick is chef's kiss. It's creamy. It's beautiful. And I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this lipstick. This is a black owned brand at Sephora. Fairly new to Sephora and I support them. And I think that this lipstick and some of their lipstick shades are chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful. Another lip product that I have been liking that I actually have on my lips right now is the Essence Lip Care Booster Serum. You put this on your lips and your lips look at least 17 years younger. Like just gives you like this really healthy glow. I think it's perfect to put on your lips, the serum to put on your lips. It does plump them as well or give them more of a plumpier, juicier appearance. It'd be perfect for you to put under a lip liner, but it also be perfect for you to put on your lips while you're doing your makeup. Get them nice and plumpy and juicy. Wipe it off. Put your lip color on. Absolutely beautiful. I did pick up the, it's so, I hate this packaging, it's so dirty, uh, but I did pick up the Patrick Ta for the face, a limited edition collection. I do have these uh, middle blushes here on today, and I do really like it. Because I have fair skin, you do have to use a light hand with this, but I do like these sort of brighter shades. I really do think that they do a decent job of brightening up the face, um, and it, it just makes you look a little more youthful. I do like this palette. I don't know if it is available still, maybe on Patrick Ta's website, but if you can get your hands on it, I'm actually fairly impressed with it. I think that it's a little expensive, so if you can't afford it, don't feel bad. I uh, I, I don't think it's that great, but if it was on your radar, it's pretty good. The, the blushes last and they stay pretty well. I got another one here, the CoverGirl Clean, um, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Blush Palette. These are excellent blushes and it, these blushes, I was like, damn, that looks like fall and these are so like creamy and these are the smoothest blush formula I have put my fingers on in a while. These blushes are amazing and I think this palette's like $12.99 you can get these on sale but like these are so great so great another little odd product that I've been liking is this elf um brow product here and this is in poop um and this has really been excellent it comes with two um as you can see that I've used them two uh, waxes and two colors and they the colors just work for me I really like it I think the easiest easiest brow is to do with powder I don't know if anybody else is having this problem but with like my skincare or maybe the foundations being a little more oilier my brow pencils they don't go very like skip a lot their opacity on my brows isn't great but when I use a powder it's like bam 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 wham thank you ma'am we're done so those have really been great for three bucks you can't really beat it it's a fast easy effortless natural looking brow and then you throw some brow um you throw some brow gel in it and it looks great you cannot you cannot be bad about it one product that I do want to talk about that I actually think is a dud is the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Coconut. This has deepened about, I don't know, 17 shades and it smells, I believe I bought this last year and it's gone bad. I do not recommend this lip gloss. I know it's popular. Um, the color was like a light pale pink and now it's this color. It's like this orange darker pink and it stinks. Don't buy it. It goes rancid. It's not worth the money. 
I did try this Wet n Wild Impossible Primer um, upon Tati's recommendation. I have really been loving, um, I have really been loving this primer. I'm not really a primer person, but I wanted to shout this out that this Wet n Wild Impossible Primer that's silicone free does really kind of fill in those pores and wrinkles and makes your skin look a little bit more flawless. Um, I don't know about its wearability for makeup, but it has been doing really great with all these tinted serums that I have been testing out. A product that else that I really like that I got at Sally's is this Sauce of Beauty Deep Mo Moisture Hair Mask. This hair mask, first off, smells good. It kind of smells fruity, um, but it really, really, really softens and repairs your hair. So I really wanted to give this a shout out, the Sauce brand here at Sally's. I believe you can find it. Um, excellent hair mask. You will not regret it if you purchase it. An eyeshadow palette that I think is underrated that it just gives you the most pigmented, like a most pigmented, beautiful shimmer shadows, pigmented, buttery matte shadows for five bucks is this Profusion Bear palette. Y'all need to pick this up. This is at Walmart, okay? Y'all need to pick this up. I talk so much shit about those palettes today that I had to throw a good I have to throw some positivity in here and this is an excellent basic bitch eyeshadow palette that everybody needs at Walmart five bucks profusion go ahead and get it thank me later it's beautiful absolutely beautiful especially it's got a little more of a warm tone it's especially good for the fall season another product that I've really been liking is this elf holy hydration um Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. You guys, this is as good as any cleansing balm. This is $10 e.l.f. It's not broken me out. I know that's a problem for some people. I use this and then I use my face wash then after it. I've never had any issues with it. Um, not being able to break up any makeup products. It breaks up everything. It doesn't break out my face. It's only $10. It does the fucking job. Do not go to Sephora, in my opinion, and buy that $30, $40 cleansing balm when you have this here at Old Tongue, the drugstore. This works excellently, and I just wanted to shout it out in case you're in the market for a cleansing balm. That one's pretty good. Another product that I've absolutely loved is this perfume. I got this at Ross. I, I think I seen somebody on TikTok talk about it, and I actually found it at Ross. This is the Juicy Couture Juicy Factor. Juicy Couture Juicy Perfume, and this perfume right here is so pretty. I absolutely love the smell. If I had to pin this down on something, it's like a titch bit sweeter of a perfume and a little bit lighter, but it's still in the same perfume family, in my opinion, as the YSL um, Black Opium Perfume. It's like in the same family. That's my favorite perfume, but this one right here... I mean, let's talk about this. This is $20. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. And it just, it does the job. It smells really, really fucking good. Really fucking good. And I just wanted to shout that out. That's my last product that I have to share with you guys. If you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up. I really, really, really do appreciate it if you've made it this far in my video. I really appreciate your support and your viewership. It, it, it truly means a lot to me. If you guys have any ideas for videos, put them in the down bar below. I'd really appreciate that. I appreciate you again watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye.